So the first thing that we'll see here is that even though the plane's upside down, I can't show you. Uh, I got the pilot cut and glued on, and I got the canopy trimmed and glued on as well. Now, to be fair, <laughs> I had some time last night on a Zoom meeting. Uh, so I came down to my shop, and I took care of this because I knew that the canopy glue would take forever to dry. So... Anyway, it looks good. I'm pleased with the positioning. Uh, it was actually pretty easy. Uh, so I, I, I really can't complain. Moving on. Uh, the airplane is upside down for a very good reason. And the reason is around front. And in case you're wondering, I had a little fun today with 164 ply, a little bit of PETG, some cardboard templates, and taking the wings on and off. <sighs> we have a battery bay. So this battery bay is, uh, I, I used a, a trick that I had seen before. Um, so because I didn't know exactly where I wanted to position things, I knew roughly the size of the opening that I needed. Uh, was very careful to cut open this hole the here's the fiberglass piece that took out so normally on the plane this little groove is used for a muffler okay so i knew that there was nothing too terribly critical down here uh, and frankly it was kind of good that i opened it up because some of the epoxy had let loose and the formers needed to be rejoined anyway uh, so i used this piece of petg over top of the hole to uh, mark the size of piece that i needed and then from there, I use the cardboard uh, to create these bulkheads. Uh, there's one in the front and one in the back. Oh, it's a still a snug fit. So yeah, I've got these bulkheads in the front and in the rear. Uh, I've got locator dowels up front that go in and then a magnet in the rear right there that mates up and it all goes back together. Now, the reason why it's all cloudy and scratchy is I took off the film on one side, the back side, and scraped it up with 100 grit sandpaper so that it would accept medium CA. And that's all I did uh, assemble this with was medium CA. There's no epoxy or anything. It sticks really well, but you do need to rough up the surface so that it grabs. Uh, and then it was a matter of trimming this piece right here so that it didn't bind with the uh the area here that meets up with the wing um and then sort of reach it with the wing off i could reach through this little hole before i put in that piece and that way i could get to the the locator dowels and push them forward and mark on the little piece of wood let me come around so that's what it looks like down in there oh get the wires out of the way anyway so these are two 5800 three cell packs that I fly in series. I've flown them on the Hawk. Uh, this guy right there. Many times. Uh, actually, <laughs> this motor is the one that came out of the Hawk originally. So uh, the Hawk is, uh, she's kind of a porker. She's a 14 pounder and this motor flew her quite well. Uh, on the 1812 and this is also an 1812 and this plane should be a little bit lighter so a little bit sportier i'm not going for all out speed i'm, I'm just saying that right now I'm not looking for a speed demon i just want to have fun with this thing so uh yeah so that that's the that's the deal i what i'm gonna do with this is there's still a, a piece of protective film on this top actually i have this uh petg for my vacuum forming table uh, anyway, so I'm going to peel this off. I'm going to give it a coat of primer, white primer, and then spray some red on it. And I kind of want it to not match. I'm just, uh, hear me out, hear me out. So normally on the GB, uh, the exhaust would come out the bottom. So the bottom area would tend to be a little discolored anyway. So I, I have some red paint and I'm hoping it will not match enough. 
if I have to get something else I can spray at a later time don't really care but yeah see that film just comes right up and it's super glossy all right so that's the battery hatch from there I just did a little quick assembly and put the batteries in and <laughs> check the center of gravity uh, the center of gravity is two and three quarters inches from the leading edge and she is just a touch tail heavy uh, CG was about an eighth inch behind that probably could fly on this configuration even if I use like a 7000 uh, 6L pack that I have uh, it would probably balance just fine but I want to be a little bit more conservative uh, I'm going to go ahead and assemble the stock uh, dummy radial uh, because the three printed one is just going to be so much heavier so I'll do that and uh, I've got to set up my control throws and finish my programming and put on some decals. Uh, decals may not come right away. Sometimes I'd prefer not to just because I'm like, yeah, let's see if it flies before I get super picky. Anyway, uh, so that's really the update for today, guys. It was, it was a lot of work uh, to get that because I had to be very careful about cutting the fiberglass and then uh, you know design the uh, the plate that the mo the battery sit on and then get it level and then get it epoxied and then wait for that to cure and then get the ha yeah it was a lot, it was a lot of time <laughs> so bear with me uh, thank you for your patience should have a pretty great update uh, the next time and uh, until then, uh, let's just continue to finish this flying work of art.